Hi everyone, welcome to our last day of our 22nd week. Ang bilis ng panahon, ano po? Today we'll be hearing from Alexi uh, from Russia. And we don't know anong um, training center but we know he's from Russia. I think I met him uh, when I was in at the Shepherds Conference kasi uh, may common denominator kami dalawa eh. So I think uh, he's also friends with the pastor from Alaska. So Alexi will be reflecting from uh, from Joshua 1 verse 7 and the title of today's devotion is strength in an unstable world. Wow, ang ganda talaga ng mga uh, pagtugma-tugma ng ating uh, devotion. Joshua 1 7 Only be strong and, be very, and very courageous. Be careful to do according to all the law which Moses my servant commanded you. Do not turn from it to the right or to the left so that you may have success wherever you go. And Alexi writes, Today many people talk of strength and courage, but in practice, strength becomes cruelty and courage becomes brutality. As incorrect as these notions are, we need to orient ourselves to the Bible at what and what it says about strength and courage. After Moses' death, Joshua was to lead the people of Israel. Here God commanded him to be strong and courageous. This command was given three times in the first chapter alone. How interesting when we remember that Joshua was not one of the ten fearful spies and that he faced death on more than one occasion. However, God considered it necessary to give him this command. Di ba naalala niyo, di ba, yung sa labing dalawang spies, hindi naman kasama si Moses dun sa mga natakot. He's actually, uh, him and Caleb were the ones who were uh, um, very confident and very faithful na alam nila na ang Panginoon Diyos ay tutulong sa anla. Right? And, and yet we see God giving him this command to not be, to be strong and be courageous. A great task stood before Joshua that demanded greater strength and courage. Where was this strength and courage to be found? From God's word. Okay? Let's just uh, um, react on that. Saan ang galing ating kalakasan? Saan ang galing ang ating katatagan at uh, katapangan? Galing sa salita ng Diyos. Not elsewhere. Walas, hindi sa ibang lugar. Kundi sa salita ng Diyos lamang. Joshua was to carefully keep the commandments without turning to the right or the left. If a man has this kind of relationship to the scripture, he will find strength from God and courage to face whatever circumstances or trials come. Bakit tayo nagkakaroon ng lakas at katatagan at katapangan as we face hardships? Because we see as we open the pages of scripture who God is and what he has done and what he is continually doing he is the source uh, the source of strength he is a source of peace and comfort even amidst difficult situations so talagang magkakaroon tayo ng katatagan at katapangan dahil sa biyaya niya at dahil sa katotohanan ng matatagpuan natin sa kanyang salita right truth is it's not easy to be courageous while overcoming temptations and experiencing pain. And that's true. It's difficult to find strength to hold to your beliefs, to be tender in your relationships with other people, and to endure hurtful behaviors while being willing to forgive. Hear the Lord's appeal from the page of the book of, of Joshua. Be strong and courageous. Again, what a way to end our week. Um... Papasalamat ako sa Panginoon Diyos kung paano tayo ay binibigay ng, ng um, encouragement that in the world there will be trouble. But take heart, He has overcome the world. So, magpatuloy lang tayo sa Kanya, sa Kanyang salita, and um, we would find courage and we would find strength in, in uh, everything that we need para tayo magpatuloy sa mundong ating nagalawan. Yes, we live in a fallen world. We live in a uh, a world that is full uh, that's, that's filled with uh, filled with um, hardships and troubles 
Pero, ang command na ito ay dapat nating sanang yakapin because the reason why it's commanded is because God wants us to find courage and, and strength and that can only be found in His Word. As we ponder upon the truth about Him, look at His beauty, focus our eyes on Him, and then the troubles of the world will, will grow strangely then. Tama? So yeah, salamat sa Diyos sa kanyang pagpapaalala sa atin and as we end our week, um, we are truly uh, uh, humbled by what He has accomplished through our devotions. Right? So tomorrow is our worship celebration and tomorrow we'll be hearing from Pastor Alan Luciano, one of our elders. He's uh, one of one of our elders na, na sa discipleship and he'll be preaching um, for us. Sige po, maraming salamat po muli sa Panginoon Diyos, sa kanyang katapatan sa atin for our 22nd week. Next week, 23rd week na. Ang galing, ano? And I really am uh, um, very thankful. Sana kayo rin. I, I'm, I'm choosing to focus on God and what He's doing and what He can accomplish in and through this pandemic as we wait on Him, as we depend on Him, and as we lean on Him. Right? Sige po, salamat muli sa inyong pagsama sa akin. I truly praise the Lord for all of you. Nai-miss ko na kayo. Of course, miss na miss ko na kayo. And I pray that we could um, be together soon. But for now, uh, salamat pa rin sa Diyos sa kanyang katapatan sa atin. Nalangin tayo. Lord, we thank you for your faithfulness all throughout this week. We thank you, Lord, for how we can um, look forward to tomorrow as you minister to us through the preaching of your word. We thank you for how we can look forward to the 23rd week. And Lord, salamat na marahin, Panginoon Diyos, kung paano uh, day by day you are encouraging us with your truth, with uh, convictions from men all over the world, with uh, their uh, given context. We thank you for opening our eyes to what's happening also, Lord, in different uh, parts of uh, the world. Sa inyo po mga anak, sa mga dakong iyon, ng inyo po ubasan. And we continue to thank you, Lord, for how we can continue to embrace your word as we find courage in them and find uh, strength in your uh, sufficient, always relative, and inerrant word. We pray that you'd bless our time, uh, remaining, remaining hours of the day. At sana po papurihan niyo po yung sarili in and through us. In Christ's most precious name we pray. Amen and amen. Thank you po sa pagsami sa akin the whole week. And I truly praise the Lord for that. Ingat kayo. I'll see you. I'll join you tomorrow in our worship service. And I'll see you next week for our uh, 23rd week. God bless you all.